thought I'd give a part two. Three. It'll be attached to my part one. I've got some stuff up here. Got some up there. Lovely desk there. Um, and these drawers from the bottom, I have vintage papers. I still have these to put somewhere. So I'll have to figure that all out. The second drawer is vintage fabrics, and I'll give a thorough tour later. These top are, uh, there right now I have punches, and here right now I have odds and ends. Don't know if they'll stay there, but for right now, they're out of my way. And I'm gonna have to get some wax to get the drawers. This is just stuff I've set up here. There is Emerson's box of goodies. And she's kind of taken over the desk table for right now. We decided not to paint, I think I've already said, I'm not sure, because it was gonna take too much work. So Greg, Nandy both said, let's not. So right here is going to go an antique t principal or teacher's table. It's a wooden table with drawers on each side. It's got the pullout uh, ledge and stuff like that. So it's gonna go right there, the table right there. Below right now in the picnic basket are scraps and behind it's where all my batting and that stuff is. I did find this book. So I've got a lot for my sewing journal. Um, table, sewing table that Jackson made me needs re-screwed down. <laughs> Don't you love what I do with the cedar chest? <laughs> but inside is more room. So, um, but for right now, that stuff can just live there. Here's some of my card making stuff. And then this bedroom is made a wonderful catch all. These are old, old paperback books. I don't even know what to do with them. There are holiday decorations, some games. This is just storage. For right now, I've stuck paint in there, but notice I kept it in the box. Um, this is ribbon and, um, fuzzy yarn, felt, that kind of stuff. Old pictures, I mean, old pictures. Uh, like an air mattress. You know, that stuff, we got to put it somewhere. So, um... Why not there? I did put the quilts in that chest to get them protected. Um, I put this table here out of, I don't know what to do with it. Greg enjoyed seeing his grandmother's senior class. I tidied up this cabinet. I haven't done anything with the top, but I found Marlene Greg's mom's old coloring book from when she was a little girl, a lot of old hardback books. Um, and these are old dictionaries and that kind of stuff. Found my husband's high school typing book. Took a little bit, Greg took a couple boxes down in that closet. And then here's some old books. So that's where we are right now. Um, this is Sunday afternoon. We started, Emerson and I started, I think last Tuesday. I may have started a little of it Monday. So that's where we are. They're going to put a railing on this side um, of that wall. But won't do that till that heavy desk gets up here. But 
Andy's got to get help to carry it. Greg just can't help him. So that's where we are. Not a whole lot left downstairs except for one antique cabinet where I have kept all my jelly plating. I would like it in the closet there, which means I'll have to find another place for that paper. Or it's on rollers, I could roll it in and out. So that will come when I bring up the jelly plate cabinet, but I needed these two tubs emptied so I could empty it out. Have not brought up paper and books yet, but I hope a lot of them can go there and in that cabinet I just finished with. So that's where the studio makeover, those are only on that ledge because as I came up the steps, I set them there. Walls, I've not done anything but wash them. Yeah, this is the washed walls. I've left in the antique nails you know, if we're going to go with a vintage theme. These um, <sighs> lampshades, I saw on Pinterest where somebody redid them in vintage linens. So, I'm thinking about that. So, for now, just like us, this room has a purpose. Bye for now.